Me and Susan were the last guys. Susan was even before me to come into the councils. And my brother Bob and my brother John and Barry and Bill, they started the group. Well, actually, Bill started it all because he learned to play guitar. And then he taught Bob, and then they were a duo for a very long time. And then they become a foursome when the Beatles came out. And then um, Rain in the Park and other things, I love the flower girl, came out. It was a big hit. And so Susan got in the band. And she was on Ed Sullivan, so this is like no chopped liver here. No, no chop. And um, and uh, and I would say the rest is history. History. Uh, oh, oh, then I came in the band. I was the last guy in the band, and uh, right after Susan, it was all happened in '67, which is so crazy. It's so crazy because then we woke up here in Tanner Park. And now we're here. Now, talking about the Rain in the Park and other things. Okay. Uh, Susan, you, you, you were on that. No, oh, that's right. the thing I'm going to tell you. Oh, is okay. that I joined the band about two months after Rain in the Park and other things came out. I wasn't on the actual recording. But I was joined into the band right. and was on Ed Sullivan singing Rain in right. the Park and other things with the gang. Right. Who that's sang that. on that? John. Bill. Bob. Sang lead. Barry. Mama. Yeah. So I saw your mom's vocals. Mm-hmm. Yes, Bob had to go behind her. She was real nervous at the time and wasn't really comfortable with recording. And so she was nervous about it all. And so Bob went and stood out behind her and sang her part through her head. And then she was a great singer. I mean, she yeah, can she do good. it. It wasn't that she couldn't do it, but she was just so Bob was her, her you coach. know, had her back literally on that time. Or her coach. Can yeah. we talk about the Sullivan Show a little bit? Your so memories right of that? Right here we have Susan Kelsha who made the Hello, Ed. Sullivan Show. Hello, Ed. Susan, tell us, how do you keep this band of rag muffins in, oh, in tow? Oh, it just had to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was great, man. You know, yeah, I mean, cool. we walked from our 888 Avenue apartment down to the Ed Sullivan Theater, which it wasn't called at the time, of course. And uh, yeah, and uh, me and my dad and Richard, my brother, sat in the audience. And 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 when you watch the show, you can see us in the audience. Oh, it was so much fun. And I had my barracuda jacket on. I mean, we were little kids. And uh, and then they were on the Ed Sullivan show. And so and then we, we did a few Ed Sullivan yeah, shows. I think I made the Christmas one. You did. Yeah. You and so. But, you know, it was funny because uh, I only found this out from my mother in the movie that's out on Showtime right now called uh, The Council's A Family Band. Or, or no, A Family Band, The Council Story, I'm sorry, is the it's name of it. Answer. Yeah, but what's funny about that is um, I got a lot of information from my mother off of the uh, shows that she was on. Uh, in the fact of the, you know, Johnny Carson or something. So I found out that I joined the band in 1967. Although I wasn't recording with the band um, really until Indian Lake, honestly. Um, but I was out on stage um, performing well before I ever got into a recording studio. I was a late bloomer, you know. I'm not going to say I'm the genius cat, but, but I have a lot of fun. But Susan... I'm a genius cat. Well, because she has her own band, and she's got the Susan Council band. <laughs> and in the Susan Council band, actually, Susan, for all these people, is this going on the TV like soon, today, maybe? Or tonight, is 10 this all? Yes. Okay, 10 o'clock tonight. This actually, is you have to cut that out. 11 o'clock. Susan, and can I say this? What? That you're going to be playing the Barclay yes. Center yes, in with Brooklyn Rodriguez. with yes, Rodriguez October 9th. come yeah. October 9th. Yeah. So she's going to do that. And if you don't know what we're talking about, those people out there but do know what we're talking about. called Searching for Sugar Man. Yeah. And so Susan's getting to play with her. But Susan is great. Says Paul. Yeah. And, Paul's and in too. fact, I want to be her road manager he when does. she has enough money to pay me wow. to do it. And, I and I'm going to be cheap. Sure, bro rate. Bro, Could, sis bro rate, yeah. Rate. Can we talk about the calluses down the road, future, what's happening? We're going to be making another record. We have a record coming out of um, a recording, and we did a benefit for our brother Bill a few years ago while he was ailing. He wasn't doing good, and so we did a benefit for him, and we recorded it, and it's going to be coming out, yep. and it's a live, uh, re live concert. Um, with my brother Barry in it, actually, still still with us. And then I, I think we're going to go in the studio and make one last uh, one for the road, as it one were. One for the road. You always say one for the road. It just seems in our lives, it is never just the last one for the road. There always seems to be another one Inventory happening. And great quality uh, about we us. do, we, we do. It just keeps going and going and going. Um, there's possibilities of a, of a real theatrical movie being made off yeah. the documentary, you know, and. Um, and, the, and then there's the big book deal. 
and then the book deal. But the <laughs> the concert that Susan's talking about, uh, that's been all mixed and mastered, is now going to go down to the editor Bill Filippiak, who's the director and helped us with the documentary, and he's going to put it to the video. So it's going to be. And what do you call that thing, Susan? When somebody puts like they they call it an open set or a box set? A box set. A box set. So a this would be a part set. of the the movie, and then there'd be this concert that the producers also filmed and and had and done recorded, and recorded. Yes. And it's really cool. And so and great. the producers want to put the movie out with that and just to make it like that kind of special oh, thing. God we bless have them fans. coming out in this little and uh, and they're all our age. I you mean, have a diehard following for years and years and years. Yes. True, true we know it to be no. true. I mean, without That's all awesome. those people, you know, because there was a time when we were like just way low under the radar. We had kids and we were going to raise them and we weren't going to put our kids through what we went through. I mean, that's a for show, show. And so that meant staying close and tight to the schools and keeping the kids, you know, planted and grounded. And, and we did that. And so, and that's, that's why we've just been staying low. Susan and Bob have been playing music nonstop forever. Even though Bob has a secondary job, Susan's pretty much a, a musician, singer, songwriter, and she hits the road and plays any venue that will have her. Am I right You're about that? Right. Okay. And so, and she does that. And so and she's just now on her own little tour and now she comes and plays with us and, but she'll be banging some tour tomorrow. She'll be singing her, oh, I'm sorry, I hit you. Um, but I have long arms. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so that's a, a, the future is open, wide open wide, for the Kalsos. We're all in good, wide, wide open. open, and so and we're all healthy. Um, you know the Thank ones God. that are in this band, and um, so yeah, I don't think there's any limitations on us actually. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. You gonna keep touring? Yep. Yes. As the Kalsos? Yes. Oh yeah, we're going on a cruise with Paul Revere and the Raiders. It's called Where the Action Is. Cruise. Cruise. And in Paul. January the 19th or 18th. Yep, Paul and Revere and the Raiders, BJ Thomas, Nancy, Will, Mary Wilson from the Supremes. Right, right. Us and three undisclosed surprise guests. Act. Yes, and so nice. we'll, everybody will be playing one night. And uh, and yeah, and like I said, the rest a lot of, the of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening. Yeah, we happening. got a lot of stuff going on. And we all work, you know. I, I work on a TV show called Grimm, and I'm an extreme landscaper on that TV show. And they're good enough to let me come and do these shows and stuff like that. And I'm going to get a knee operation in October 2nd. I mean, there's a lot happening. <laughs> My sciatic is acting up. <laughs> <laughs>